Good afternoon, fellow YouTubers. Um, I'm going to go in through the Eco Worthy uh, solar panel. It's the the model I've gone for is the uh, one seven one seven watt one hundred and seventy watt solar panel. Um, quite a large um, large box, but I'm going to give it a try, see how this works out, and um, yeah, um, I'll let you know how it works. So please bear with me while I stand back. Just to let you know, I'm doing this on the mat because the grass has been a bit wet because we've had a bit of a good uh, welcome rain and obviously I just want to make sure that um, everything's working and operational as best as possible. Whilst I'm unboxing this, one of the rationales, um, I don't know if you saw my previous video, one of the rationales to why I've invested in this actual particular panel um, is simply because um, I just want to make sure that when we do have what I call the welcome rain, um, obviously after our heat wave, is that we can have the panels outside, get some extension, um, MC4 extension cables, link it up to, the, to basically the power station, which I'll show you. I've got a couple of power stations, which I'm gonna do another video on. Um, yeah, and just literally make sure that we can get the best out of the sun with the weather going in what I call, you know, rain and shine. Okay. So, nearly there. Okay, there's one. Solid. There's the other side. Okay. Well, as you can see, it's got good foam to protect it at the front, which is good, especially obviously for the courier. You never know what courier you're going to get. And there we go. Here's the solar panel. So, bear with me a sec, let's just move that here. Let's just right. Okay. So, got a panel in front of us. Also got the manual. Now, when I purchased this from EcoWorthy, there was a load of bundles that you could purchase this product from. But for me, um, the main thing for me was I've already invested in some solar power generators like the EB150 uh, and the EB70. So for me, it was all about, do I need the inverter, etc. No. Um, however, if you wanna go, you know, future planning, then yeah, please, um, by all means, invest um, if you feel the requirement to. Okay, but my plan is test this out. Let's see what wattage we can get out of the sun. It's got a bit of sun here to do a quick test um, and see how efficient it is um, and take it from there. Okay. If we go out the back here, you can see here we've got the, the actual controller here and the MC4 connectors. So I'm just gonna obviously get a knife, cut that through, and then basically attach that to the solar power generator, um, and then see what kind of wattage we're gonna get, and see if we can get anywhere close to, you know, the rounds, you know, but the sun is okay, but we'll see what we can do. Right, cables are done. Okay, right. I am need a little prompt prop here to put this on. So I'm going to just plant this here so you can see. And then I'm going to show you the power station in a second so that you can see the power station. So let me just use. Do 
just getting these connectors done guys, bear me a second, and then um, you'll be able to see the connectors. Okay, so as I was saying, right, this is one of the, the stations that I've invested in, the power solar power. So it's the Power Oak one, uh, EB150. Really, really, really would um, endorse this product. Um, it's absolutely, I mean, you know, I'm not sponsored by Bluetti or Power Oak, um, but what I would say is I like the battery. Um, the cycles, but then my research, you know, I think it's 2,500 cycles before um, you, it reduces the battery to like 8% efficiency. Um, I also just like the sturdiness of this, you know, it's quite a rugged. It is quite heavy, um, but you know, it's not the kind of thing that you're just going to be porting around here. This is actually used for a number of purposes, um, for, you know, backup situations. People that are working from home, essentially, you know, that might have a situation where we've got power outage, Unfortunately, in our times that we're in, um, we're in a situation where, um, you know, we've got these pending situations where we're getting told there may be black outages and rationalisation, you know, read into what you think. However, you know, the best preparation is, you know, planned, you know, to plan for yourself and make sure you, you've got the best plan in, in position. So, without further ado, let's just have a little check here. Got my cables, this come with the Bluetti um, power station. I'm gonna plug that in there and then I'm gonna basically plug it's nice and simple male to female and then male to female and let's go there we go all right oh and what we should have straight away if you've got any source of um, basically wattage coming in from this solar panel you should have it kickstart and as we can see it's made it's turned on the bluetti straight away so we're just going to give it a bit of time hopefully to see um some wattage coming in here okay what i will do guys um thank you uh for for, for watching this video what i will do is i'll follow up on this video and then show you the the power station straight after just to see where we've got to with this but so far panel's looking good just got to see how the wattage is working okay so i'll speak to you soon so hi guys just moved the panel um basically into a bit of much better positioning than I currently started off with just to see what kind of wattage we're going to get into here now it's looking so I'm not sure you can see that you're gonna to have to trust me on this one with a bit of this god sun just going to move behind the cloud but we're looking at we're getting a good 101 but now it's just gone back down to to 59 so we'll just you know watch it a little bit just to see when that sun gets a nice that cloud just disappears and just gives us a bit of a peak washing and we'll hopefully see if we can get you know in the hundreds region so one of the one of the things um, like I was saying earlier one of my plans was to just test this out because it's weatherproof make sure that we've got continuous um, lighting stroke um, sorry taking advantage of the sink um, the continuous lighting so when the Sun comes up I'm quite fortunate in the garden we've got a position where the Sun comes up and we can get good lighting from around seven o'clock all the way up until about four o'clock. Now, um, you obviously you can't do anything about the clouds, you know, they're there to obviously help us out, etc. But um, with that active of the lighting, I'm gonna have to obviously move the panel around to get the best lighting. Not a major problem, because, uh, you know, if you work from home, obviously you've got a bit more flexibility, but at least you know you've got that continuous wattage going in and you haven't, you know, got to worry about if it rains. Now, I've got, so I've invested in some so um, foldable solar panels which are absolutely fantastic again like I say not sponsored by Bluetti however um, you know again absolutely fantastic and they serve their purpose um, and it gives you that flexibility to just move it around in the garden etc um, but yeah 
I'm pretty pleased so far that I know that I hit actually hit around the 130 mark um, for this eco worthy 170 um, solar solar panel um, so I'm just waiting for that cloud to go by and what I'll do is um, I'll just pause the video um, and then we'll you know we'll come back um, and then we'll see you shortly Right guys, um, because there was a bit of shade in here and I wanted to really to emphasise and get the best um, kind of wattage out of the actual panel, what I've decided to do is move it just in a bit of a higher position. So um, as part of the purchase, um, EcoWorthy, I must admit, um, I must have got there just in time because they seem to have put their prices up, but I also invested in some extension, um, MC4 extension cables. And this will allow us to obviously extend, says what it says on the tin, plug this in to the power station, which I'll show you now, to this lead here. So okay, so we'll just do a nice red there, and then we get the extension here. Can't get this wrong guys, pretty straightforward, male to female. Get the extension lead, and I'm just gonna go to that panel and hopefully we'll start seeing some better wattage because of the better position that the sun panel's in. Right, so I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but we are now starting to, to get numbers. That what I was looking for which is fantastic it's climbing and that's actually behind the, the the sun at the moment and we just got up to around the 80 mark um so once that cloud goes away um hopefully we'll be able to see it just jump up a bit more so we'll just monitor it just a little bit longer see if we can just get past that cloud just to see um and hopefully we might be able to see it gets back into the hundreds and then that hopefully just give you a bit more confidence that you know this panel um, actually um, on the face of it is looking like a good investment and I'm quite I'm looking forward to even at this capacity just to get this kind of wattage behind the cloud because I've got other panels that I can obviously put it in um, series or parallel and just to make sure that um, you know we can increase the wattage but the main functionality of this is just leaving it out there knowing that when it rains you know the power stations are inside i'm using the extension cables and we're still good to go okay so look we're now going back into 110 which is fantastic so cloud we'll see so like i say without wasting your time what i'll do is um we'll come back in a bit oh no it's going back up yeah, we'll come back in a bit. Hopefully, um, we'll see a peak. Speak to you soon.